So, boys and girls, it's Halloween. Time to draw a monster. Stick with me and let's draw a yeti. Okay, I'm in Sketchables. As you know, I like to use this app, and I just thought since it's Halloween, I draw. Well, I, I, I pretty much normally just draw fantasy or sci fi, but yeah, why not? It's Halloween. Why break the habit of a lifetime? <laughs> so I've gone for an off-white canvas this time pretty straightforward I'm just drawing in black and white but this time because I've gone for an off-white canvas I'm going with kind of greenish tones because I'm drawing something that isn't human you know um, because I'm going for a Yeti I'm going for a colder tone so I'm gonna draw with greens if that makes sense um, Blues you'd normally associate with ice, but greens actually give you uh, a nice alive feeling when it comes to making something cold, so that's a nice rationale for that. So yeah, um, basically uh, normal free tones, the kind of almost blackish, never go for black though, go for a very dark grey in this case a very dark green then an almost white and a, a mid-tone you can have a few different mid-tones in there this one a kind of side portrait they're nice they're quick they're easy and I'm just using a few different sized brushes and these are all the same brushes that I kind of normally use these are just my quick sketching brushes in here in Sketchable I'm doing the horn on a completely different layer just in case I mess this up but then doing things like the ears on top of a different layer on top of that and also these ridges on top of a different layer again because if I mess those up I don't want to mess the horn up itself then the neck goes on a layer underneath the head so if that's messed up I can move everything around so at the moment I'm, I'm using about eight layers and that's fine when I want to I can crush those all down or I can keep them all completely separate and just keep whacking other layers on top sketchable you can use quite a lot of layers if you're using uh, a more modern tablet I think on the older tablet sketchable only allows you to use fewer layers but if you're using an up-to-date tablet you're nice and safe you can you know kind of create brush brushes that are a bit more fur like there are some good ones in there however I like to do um, I like to do single strokes for things like fur I've especially on something like a Yeti where you're gonna want thick fur anyway uh, I could have just left this as a single a single head but I think putting hand in there gives you gives you a little more something I could always do dripping blood on this or something, but I don't want to make it too gory, you know. Um, I don't know what features a Yeti really has other than being covered in hair and maybe having horns. I wanted to make this guy look a little more intelligent, but giving him sharp claw nails, you know, makes him look dangerous, you know, as well as intelligent. Obviously, I want to add a tiny inkling of a background in so I'll add in some snow and you know that kind of uh, that background which just draws your eye draws your focus in there which it's really quick it's simple and I can play with the layer effects here just to just to really jazz it up a tiny bit and then add a layer on top just to add in some extra shading and maybe another layer on top of that just to add in some extra highlights and this all helps to pull the sketch together and that's the difference between a cruddy sketch and a sketch that looks kind of halfway passable you know this isn't a finished illustration obviously but you know just a bit of a fun time daily sketch you know if you're into the inktober kind of thing you know and you can also obviously throw two or three extra layers on if you just want to color this sketch up I like that black and white feel it makes it feel a bit more um, you know kind of old-fashioned monster movie-ish but 
if you want to go a bit further it doesn't take too much just to put a layer on there turn the layer effect to color and then start whacking colors on you know for something like a yeti you can have uh, a green yeti an orange yeti name it after your microphone and go for blue yeti don't buy a blue yeti microphone no buy road i have a road podcaster here that's what i use i use their little i, I they don't give me freebies i don't need to give them a shout out but yeah you can see i'm using a sketchable little brush here that i've changed some settings with for the snow and just sign it it's pretty much done i'm giving it a really uh, a nice little blue frosting layer there to make it all feel nice and cold and there it is it's finished let me know what you think in the comments below happy halloween well thanks for watching be sure to comment like and even subscribe to my channel Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrencemann.co.uk. I'll see you next time.